Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am thrilled to be back home. I'm thrilled to be done with finals. I'm gonna teach you all how to make some good oatmeal this morning. I feel like a lot of people don't understand the value and the amazingness that oatmeal is. I was at a meetup event with this Instagram food person and we had this conversation because she loves oatmeal and a lot of her recipes revolve around oatmeal. We were talking about how people just make oatmeal with like water and nothing else and I would hate oatmeal if I ate it like that too. What I'm gonna do is teach you how to make a good, healthy, fun, delicious oatmeal. We're gonna head down to the kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to make the oatmeal. This is my go-to recipe, like basic oatmeal recipe every morning. Sometimes I'll venture out and do something a little more complicated, but if you just need something quick and easy that you can make every morning, this is gonna be the one. So let's go do it. Welcome to the kitchen. We've all been here about a thousand times. I'm looking at cookies right now. We have so many cookies in this house and it's really stressing me out because I have no self-control when it comes to dessert. Anyway, that was a little bit sidetracked. We're actually gonna cook now. The Trader Joe's rolled oats. I prefer them to Quaker because Quaker had a recall. Normally I would use the Trader Joe's quick steel cut oats, but here at home, we only have the Quaker ones. So I guess that kind of defeats the whole purpose of me not eating Quaker because of the recall, but chia seeds, also from Trader Joe's. Get our almond milk out of the refrigerator. Gotta shake it. Woo. So I have one cup of almond milk and I'm gonna throw that into the pan at this odd angle, cause lighting. After you put the one cup of almond milk into the pan, you're just gonna kind of let it sit in there for a little bit. It's better to not bring it to a boil, but bring it almost to a boil because if you bring it to a boil, it's not as creamy afterwards. After I throw my almond milk in, I usually fill up like the one cup that I use the almond milk with with a little bit of water. Once we start cooking it and the oatmeal starts to thicken up, I tend to add a little bit of water to it just to kind of even it out so I can keep cooking it for longer. I also think that adding water really helps with the flavor because if you only cook it with almond milk, it takes on a little bit of a strange flavor and I think adding the water really does help with that. So if you see here, like we're not quite boiling, but the milk is getting a little uh, bubbly and that's exactly how you want it to be when you add your stuff in. Start with the half cup of rolled oats and then I take a teensy bit of the steel cut oats, like just a very small amount, like less than a fourth of a cup. Throw that in and then we put in our one tablespoon of chia seeds and put it down on low. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of water right away because I feel like it needs it. One of the most important things about making oatmeal, especially if you want it to be like really thick and really creamy, is that you continually stir it the whole time. Sometimes I just kind of want to let it sit and cook, but if you want it to be the right texture and consistency, you have to keep stirring it. Back to stirring. So if you've never tried chia seeds before and you're like, ew, I don't like seeds. I don't want to put chia seeds in my oatmeal. I did not like seeds before but chia seeds are so good. And to be honest, when I make my oatmeal without chia seeds, it's not the same. They add so much flavor. It kind of adds like a vanilla bean type of situation going on. And it's really good. Like, please just use the chia seeds. You gotta trust me on this one. For these next two items, my measurements are a little bit iffy on them. I just kind of add as much as I think would make sense. For the vanilla extract, I just used about one cap full, about that much. And then I just throw that in. For our cinnamon, I just kind of shake as much as I feel like is necessary. I like a lot of cinnamon in mine, but it all depends on if you like a lot of cinnamon in your stuff or not. And then we're just gonna stir that up. 
At this point, you're gonna see that the oatmeal is getting pretty thick. So I'm probably gonna add a little bit more water in just a second because it's only been cooking for about five minutes now and it takes about eight to 10 minutes for it to be fully cooked and get that really good texture and consistency. So now that our oatmeal is done, I'm gonna go ahead and chop a banana on top. I don't always have a banana on top of my oatmeal, but on a lot of days I tend to be pretty extra hungry, so the banana helps make me even more full, even though oatmeal itself is super filling. If you're super duper hungry, add the banana. If not, you don't need to add the banana. If you don't like bananas, don't add the banana. It's just optional, an optional banana. Wow, this camera angle though. I love my banana spotty. This is exactly how I love it. See, this is a beautiful banana. Please appreciate. We now have our finished product. And now I'm gonna eat it. Also, if you are an oatmeal hater, if you want to keep hating oatmeal, go ahead. But you can't keep hating it until you've tried this. And then you can keep hating it if you still hate it. It's been fun. Follow me on social media. More recipes coming your way this winter break. This is the last time you'll see me as 19 years old. Next time I will be 20. So, see you uh, in a new decade of my life. <laughs>